Republican strategist John Thomas joining us live. We also have Wendy Patrick, host of the KCBQ Radio, The Answer, and immigration attorney Dino Scaros. He is the author of this book here. It is titled Trumped Up charges. Good to see all three of you here. Uh, Wendy, I'll jump to you right off the rip here. Uh, what do you make of, of just the contrast you've seen of, of Biden on the campaign trail, essentially pushing back uh, on China eating our lunch to what you've seen yesterday with his two-hour phone call with President Xi saying they will eat our lunch? Well, Sean, I think that the president's uh, view um, is that um, we're in a competition with China. And um, he's clear-eyed about the depth of that challenge. And so the conversation he had with President Xi was certainly uh, a reflection of that. All right, I apologize. I didn't mean for the sound to play there. But, Wendy, back to what you were saying there, uh, your response. Yeah, no, it's, you know, what Jen Psaki sort of corroborated what the rest of us were wondering is what happened during that call that basically led President Biden to re-strategize his approach to dealing with China. Just in time for Valentine's Day weekend, you wonder whether or not he's recognizing there may be no love lost between these two world leaders. And that sentiment really seeped into the comments he's making afterwards, but not as much as one would expect since he still says he's gonna play the long game. He talks about being vague in a bit about, oh, well, we're gonna have to do some strategy at home, we're gonna partner and regroup with our allies. But what does all that mean? After just signing a flurry of executive orders, it seems like he wants to think a little bit more before moving forward on how to change our relationships with China. Yeah, and of course, um, you know, keeping China held accountable, obviously, is a key focus in dealing with the coronavirus. Um, but also, John, it does make you wonder what U.S.-China relations will look like under a Biden administration. When you think about his approach, what are you anticipating? Yeah, this is one of those moments where you can see that the president had a sobering phone call. It was a real wake up for him that, oh my gosh, China is eating us for lunch. They're ahead of us in many regards, economically, they're catching up to us militarily, and they're ripping us off on issues of the economy and, and others. Um, look, the problem is Joe Biden has boxed himself into a corner because on the campaign trail, he ruthlessly attacked and belittled pre President Trump for talking tough and, be and sticking it to China and, and saying that was a terrible policy choice. So now that he's taken that action off the table, there really isn't much for Biden to do except for probably roll over. Dino, most critics will say... Um Look, I don't mind if you're, you're shifting your tone. Biden said, you know, what he said about China, essentially being fine with it uh, in 2018. Now he shifted in, in 2021. That's okay. But the question would come, completely just completely change the tone, Dino. I don't even think that Biden so much changed his tone as that he is a career politician, and so he talks out of both sides of his mouth. One of the main reasons Donald Trump was elected was because he wasn't a politician. And whatever people want to say about him, he kept his promises at a higher rate than any president I can remember. And I think but I'm, a, I'm a patriot. I'm an American. Joe Biden is my president. I'm not going to call him any nasty names like they did to Trump. However, he is a fumbler. He makes it up as he goes along. If it wasn't for Barack Obama, he never would have been president because he tried many times and polled in single digits. So he's just very mediocre. And I don't know if it's so much the phone call that changed his mind, other than he will give the comfort food answer as a politician, depending on the audience. And so I'm not surprised that he's flip-flopping. Wendy, do you believe the Biden administration views China as our greatest adversary? Well, Emma, you know, it's hard to know what they believe because we don't have the clear-cut answers we had under the Trump administration. The president was very clear about exactly what he thought about our allies and our adversaries. So far, we don't have that clarity. And Jen Psaki can't clean it up. God bless her. She's got a tough job. But after some of President Biden's comments, she really can't clarify what he thinks about the Chinese leader. And Emma and Sean, we are thinking that, he, that President Biden himself has already come to a decision. Not so sure, especially not after a two-hour phone call. Likely, if he's talking about playing a long game and coming up with strategy, 
this will be a wait and see approach. John, it's a very delicate balance that you've seen this administration when handling with China, with President Xi. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw Jin Psaki earlier saying we, uh, the administration, the White House, not in a rush. We are in no rush. Uh, to develop a strategy to counter the CCP. They're taking a strategic ap approach. Those were her words there. Uh, what do you make of that when analyzing uh, the message given to the American people in addressing China, the CCP, and President Xi? Well, it's, it's, he's, it's a terrible way to broadcast strength to the rest of the world. You have to be clear and consistent with your priorities. And the problem is the, pre the president's real priorities, he has broadcasted them. They're fighting climate change. They're ending this idea of systemic racism. Though That's what the president is focusing on. Meanwhile, when China's, you know, as, as Biden says, is eating us or going to eat us for lunch, they're already a step ahead of us, and they don't respect anything but consistency and a firm hand. Look, this is going to end terribly, and I'm deeply concerned for not just the future of America, but the rest of the world. Panelists, stick around. Uh, we've got more to cover here. That is John Thomas, Wendy Patrick, Dino Scars. We'll see you on the other side of this. Yeah, we're talking about this.